Is this, is this thing, thing on? on? Pezos, don't look down. Um, we did have quite a few people message us over the Christmas break mm -hmm. asking to review their new projects. And we were given some pretty quality stuff. I will say, unfortunately, Peso or Pezo? Peso. One of those two. I assume it's Peso. Like the I money. assumed Peso. Peso? But it could be Peso. Um, it was not on title, so I couldn't listen to it. So Rob is going to do a solo review for this one. Mm -hmm. But I did watch your interview with Zach Vargo. Okay. Talking about growth, adding to the House of Hip Hop process, and taking opinions serious. Okay. So what so, was your opinion on him? He seemed like he was well put together, and I think that he... Um, he talked about his process really, um, really smoothly as well. Mm. Like he was, he wanted to go in with a certain mindset, and he went in with that. But unfortunately, I haven't heard any music, so maybe if you say some stuff, I can give some insights potentially. But yeah, yeah okay. Let's uh, get into the review. Don't look down mm. by Peso. So yeah, I didn't have any sort of expectations coming into it, but I was very, very surprised. The pure originality is just outstanding. Like, it is absolutely insane. I've never heard a collection of songs like this. Okay. Um, it's so easy to get lost in the many worlds that he creates throughout this. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, so many times I didn't realise that it was the next song because right. it's just a flawless transition. I think the best genre to, d to describe what he does is trip-hop. Okay. But it's not quite. Um, it's a little bit of a genre blending and he's not just like not talking about anything as well he like does he says things that need to be talked about he sounds very intelligent okay. uh, in downhill he said if I can't afford it twice I can't afford it very very clever and he uh, even followed the next with the next line saying like um you blow it in one night that's stupid or something like that it's not the exact lyric but right. yeah I think that's very clever yep and something that needs to be talked about more in rap teaching because, like, the people that listen to rap music do not have the money of rappers. Yeah. They need to not blow bags. Yep, I agree. They need to stack up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he like he talks about stuff that does need to be talked about. But I literally have no criticism for this album at all. It's... Fair enough. Like, it is a little bit slow at times, but it's meant to be. That's mm -hmm. what the sound is okay. this is Pezzo's sound or Peso's sound uh, like any changes to it will make it something else like this is his mm -hmm. uh, and that's a very very hard thing for an artist to be able to capture as well but he's managed to do it yeah. um, there isn't even really a weak point throughout either um, when he raps his flows are engaging okay. um, he has a great storytelling on another day uh, the only thing I can really nitpick at is the singing it's always got sort of like a layered effect on it, so there's multiple of him, and it's sort of like a little bit auto-tuned. Right. So you you never really hear just him, so you don't know if he's good or not. Right. But it suits the style. It still sounds good. Right. So I that's barely a criticism to even, like, begin with. Right. Um, yeah, everything is just very well polished, and um, I don't even have any advice, to be honest. Like, just keep doing this. Fair enough. This is, like, really, really good. The only downfall I thought I would have about it during the first listen is the replayability for me personally. Right. Because it's not something you can really concentrate on. It's something to, like, have in the background. Like, because yeah. it's... it's so, Like, the production is fairly, like, trancey. So it's, like, maybe something that you relax to while enjoying yeah. a recreational activity of sorts. Right, okay. So... I am not really the target audience there. Right. But after writing that sentence, I sat down and worked out like the schedule for the next couple of weeks for us. I looked through the shoes that I was doing, had right. this playing in the background. I was very focused. Right, there you I'd, go. Like my soft head usually would get distracted and watch YouTube for a half hour or something. Right. But I didn't. I Just stayed focused in. on this. It, it kept me zoned in. Well, fair enough then. So I was yeah pretty happy with that. I have listened to it quite a few times past my first listen as well uh, in the car. It's just something very easy to chuck on. But yeah, I'll give you a little taste of the very um unique production right. that he has. This is downhill. Okay. 
Feels like I'm in like Wizard of Oz. <laughs> This is very funky. That's really good. That is good. I'll play my favourite song, just a little bit of it. This is the closing track, Are We There Yet? Good movie with Ice Cube. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah. Yeah, after the first listen, I showed my missus a couple of songs because I was quite excited. And then later, she walked in like to where my computer is. I was listening to that song, and she was like, "Oh, who's this?" I yeah, I said, and she said, "Oh, okay, boom, yeah, there you go." A very very talented, very well polished off album as well, and yeah, it's literally added to my list of like easy listens. Well done, Peso. Yeah, well done on Don't Look Down. Heavily recommend anyone to give it a listen. Uh, yeah, I think it would be good to engage in a recreational activity too. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, be sure to tune in tomorrow because we've got our review of Ramaya's For Love. What a banger. <laughs> what a banger. Be sure to, to watch that. Check back with us for that one. We'll see you then. That's a wrap.